Recently, Universal has made some big announcements regarding Epic Universe and Halloween Horror Nights. So today, I thought we'd discuss all the new news and updates at Universal. So let's go ahead and have a great day adventure. Heading inside here, we can see that they gutted this entire building. This is where the former Quiet Flight and Cinnabon shops were. And rumor has it is that it's going to be potentially replaced by a Super Nintendo World store in here. So should be interesting to see. As for some other news, at the Red Coconut Club on every Thursday and Friday this June, there's a Love is Universal event where they have exclusive drinks, merchandise, DJ, and live entertainment where you can enter Red Coconut Club on Thursdays from 5 p.m. to 12 a.m. and on Fridays from 5 p.m. to 1 a.m. And you must be 21 years or older with a valid photo ID if you want to attend. Now on June 16th, from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m., there's an exclusive brunch menu for Father's Day at Big Fire American Fair, in which Big Fire is actually straight across. So if you're looking for something to do for Father's Day, then this might be something for you. And right here, we have a brand new Epic Universe Preview Center announcement where it's just announced that the preview center will officially open this month. It'll have some photo ops, there's going to be the park model, and of course some merchandise themed around all the Epic Universe lands. And in the case of some updates, we can see that the screen is being tested at the moment, and we can all see the chronos where you'll enter inside a portal and enter inside the preview center and this should be really exciting to see so i can't wait and if we can see these construction walls it looks like they're doing some things around the concert area and it looks like right now all the water fountains are turned off so thankfully we can walk straight through also you can get some dreamworks land headbands and hats and we're actually going to be talking about DreamWorks Land very soon because it's just technically soft opening. So we'll have to check that out. In terms of some new merchandise, there is some Love is Universal merchandise where now through August, 100% of the profits from the merchandise line will be donated to local nonprofit organizations that support and engage the LGBTQ community. We can see some shot glasses, mugs, tumbler cups. There's also a sweatshirt, and we can see the Love is Universal logo. And then there's Universal Studios in the back. There's also a Love is Universal t-shirt. There's also a Love is Universal towel, a wood sign a license plate, and even the Love is Universal cooling towel, a Love is Universal shot glass, a Love is Universal hat, and a Love is Universal jacket. Some more Love is Universal mugs, and a Love is Universal t-shirt. But right now, that is all of the latest updates at CityWalk. Now, it is time we head over to Universal Studios Florida. And for some new updates, there's actually a new building that they're building right now for the brand new Universal Sensational Drone Show. And it looks like they're hard at work trying to make sure that this is done in time for the new show. In some news, we have the Kids Zone Pizza area now officially repainted blue. And it's going to be interesting to see what replaces it or if anything replaces it. But right here, we have DreamWorks Land. Look at that. It is exciting see this area now 
almost open to the public where it's now going through soft opening phase. We can see people meeting Gabby's from Gabby's Dollhouse, King Julian. We can see people in line for the swamp snacks. And we even see people meeting Shrek as well. And when it comes to technical rehearsal, guests may be able to experience the land during limited hours of operation, but some elements may not be available during this time, and there's no express access during technical rehearsal. Now, while we're not going to experience the entire land today, it is interesting to see how everything is now working. But I think next time, I will definitely try and get one of the Trolls treats. But if you want to watch my full video on the DreamWorks land, then I highly recommend watching that since it's basically a full tour of everything inside here. And then there's the Troller Coaster where you will need to be 36 inches or taller in order to ride. And when it comes to the Troller Coaster right now, while it's still in technical rehearsal, it's a 15 minute wait. So not too long, surprisingly. Also, one thing I did not talk about in the video is actually a fun fact, and that is that all the workers inside of DreamWorks Land is called Dream Workers, and I thought that was very fun and creative. By the way, let's go ahead and head on out of here. Check out some other things around Universal Studios. Now, when it comes to Universal Studios Florida this year, there's going to be Halloween Horror Nights returning to the park once again. And just like in the last update, there is some news. And with this year's events, before opening night, there's going to be a brand new event called Premium Scream Night. With Premium Scream Night, guests can experience every house, scare zone, and show without the crowd, similar to an Orlando and former events. Guests also get staggered entry by group into all the haunted houses. There's also all you can eat food and non alcoholic drinks, and an exclusive vent credential and lanyard. Access to some of the Universal Studios Florida attractions and free self parking. Tickets will start at $350 for regular guests and $325 for annual pass holders. Now, tickets go on sale tomorrow on June 6th, or if you're watching us already, it is probably already on sale already. So today, we just got a house announcement for this year's event where Halloween Horror Nights has announced a Quiet Place will be part of this year's lineup. Based off of Quiet Place Part 1 and 2, following these storylines and movies, silence your screams if you want to survive the terrifying post-apocalyptic world. Like the Abbott family, you must keep quiet as you travel from the farmhouse to the woods to the foundry. As soon as you make a sound, monstrous creatures who can hear the slightest noise will hunt you down and silence you for good. The house will also incorporate the use of American Sign Language for the first time to capture the authenticity of the films. By the way though, that is all the news with Halloween Horror Nights. So, before we head out, we'll have to check out one of the new things at Universal, and that's gonna be the Tribute Store. Inside here, we're now at Tribute Store Plaza, where this is the new summer tribute store. Inside here, we can see all sorts of merchandise with Ghostbusters. There's also some VHS covers where if you pay $90, you can be part of the VHS covers on here. And we can see Kevin Heimbach. We can see Super Enthused. And right there, there is Pew 2 on here. So it's interesting. We also have some dogs on here and many more people. It's also very spacious around here, but it should be noted that there is a Mega Movie Parade poster coming July 3rd, and they say that this is apparently the best spot to watch the Mega Movie Parade. There's some uh, more Ghostbusters merchandise, along with a gigantic Ghostbusters poster right here. 
We even have Mr. Tape where he says, if it's not rewound, you won't be found. And then we also have the Jaws poster. And then there's also the Back to the Future merchandise back here. There's also some VHS covers of some classic films where we can see the Chucky franchise, Halloween 2, Firestarter, and then we have Darkman, Back to the Future, Army of Darkness, and all sorts of other films around here. We even have some posters for Scarface, if we explore around here, there's even some Shrek merchandise. And then there's even an E.T. cutout along with a donkey cut. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of scared me. There's also a Shrek poster. And I wonder, what is in here? Oh, there's some more kids films. There's even Jaws merchandise. There it is, there's the hat. We even have some more Jaws team merchandise around here. But then we even have some old TVs where it has some advertisements playing. We have the Stay Puffed Marshmallow from Ghostbusters. There's even some ET merchandise. And then following the side here, there's even the arcade. We can see the wizard. There's also some arcade game machines. We even have Halloween Horror Nights a game, but it's not working, unfortunately. And then there's even some Universal CBS Florida merchandise. And then there's even a snack stand right here where you can get some macaroons, fudge, cookies, a Jaws trifle cake and an E.T. basket cake as well. Down here, there is some more Shrek-themed merchandise. There's also some more games. We also have the second best area, which is the Jaws merchandise section. Anyways, there's also the Scoop and Sam game. There's even a Polybius game where I think, can he actually play it? I don't know if he can, but looks interesting. Then we have Laser Dungeon Choose Thy Fate game, which if you don't know, is an obvious reference to Dueling Dragons. And then heading inside here, there is the movie theater area where I have some posters with Ghostbusters, E.T. Jaws, Back to Future. There's some E.T. merchandise. Oh, we have the Clock Tower from Back to Future. There's also the boat from Jaws. We even have a Ghostbusters area right here, including the Stay Puffed Marshmallow. And then we even have Elliot's with E.T. riding on his bike. But right there is Back to Future merchandise. Some more E.T. merchandise. And right here we have a Hollywood star with Earl the Squirrel himself. By the way, as soon as we head out, we have The Thing, American Graffiti, and Conan the Barbarian posters. And that is all it with the Tribute Store. Honestly, the tribute store is amazing. It's incredibly well themed. I also love how nostalgic and retro it feels as well, especially with the video game arcade area. It's also the most spacious area and not the biggest, but it is a nice tribute store that I will definitely be coming back here for. But with that being said, that is all the announcements here at Universal Orlando Resort. I had such a fun time at the parks once again, and I think with that being said, that's going to be it. Let me know what you're most excited to see this year. Are you excited for Halloween Horror Nights? Are you excited for new shows at Universal? Let me know, and as always, until next time, thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.